Hey everybody, Dr. Cobb here. I wanted to shoot a quick video regarding the upcoming fall prevention and fall preparation course because I'm out here actually doing a little bit of training uh, in the garage, as you can see on this cool mat. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions about this course, so I'm gonna quickly answer a few, give you one drill, and then uh, hopefully we'll see you there. Number one question, why don't you do this course and what is it gonna be like? Well, very simply, uh, like everything in Z Health, this course was built because I was super frustrated with what was available. Um, over the last probably six years, I think I've taken 10 or 12 different professional fall prevention courses because I was interested. What are we teaching people? Uh, falling, when you look at the morbidity or mortality statistics, is an enormous problem. And what I found generally was that across most professional organizations, the quality of the courses was, in my opinion, quite poor. Um, they were very much slanted toward people living in assisted living. Uh, they didn't deal with athletes. They didn't deal with young people. They didn't say, hey, here is a progression beginning from the most compromised individual all the way up through a relatively high level athlete. How do we teach them to fall? How do we teach them to fall purposefully? And how do we teach them to deal with reactive balance challenges? So uh, thankfully, over the last decade as well, the research on this has exploded. So we can now look at different areas of the brain, the frontal lobe, the cerebellum, looking at dual tasking issues, all these different things we now have information on that makes Z Health a fantastic um, blend of information with what you already know from our courses to say, hey, how do we actually prevent and prepare people for falling? Uh, so I'm really excited to share this with you. It's going to be a great course. We're doing it live uh, and live streamed because there's going to be a lot of physical movement and a lot of physical practice. It will be a normal kind of lecture process. However, the amount of lecture is going to be minimized because I really want us all focused on building our own awareness and skills. You can only take people so far if you've never done the work yourself. And when it comes to falling and dealing with the fear of falling, this is an essential piece. So um, I'm hoping that a bunch of uh, people will be able to join us live. We're about half full there. Uh, and like I said, we're expecting between 400 and 500 people on the live stream. Uh, I'm super excited about that because I know a few people at least are going to take this information and run with it and create <laughs> brand new careers out of just dealing with falls because it is that detailed. Uh, part of this, you're going to get a whole curriculum of how do I begin progressing people through different awareness exercises and movement exercises and visual and vestibular all the way up to falling and rolling. Um, I'm really excited to share that with you because I've been working on that for almost 20 years. Uh, anyway, I said all of that. I said I want to share with you a quick drill. So let's get started with the drill. Uh, and these are awareness drills that we're going to begin with. I want to make sure that you understand that your brain has different strategies for dealing with a loss of balance. So we're going to work on the falling clock. You're standing in the middle of the clock. I want you to begin rocking forward, rocking back 12 to 6, 3 to 9, whatever. And as you're rocking, I eventually want you to displace your body enough that you have to take a step and catch yourself. Do that all the way around. Next drill. You're now going to try to not uh, force that step by utilizing ankles. All right. So now I'm going to rock out as far as I can. And before I take that step, I'm going to try to solve my balance problem utilizing what is called an ankle strategy. When you look into the research literature, you can see a lot about ankle strategies and hip strategies. Uh, and those change as we age, which means that we need to make sure that we are competent with both. So how do I use that? Well, you might figure out that you have to tighten the ankles, use a little bit of plantar flexion, but then if you go backwards, it's a different ankle strategy. So you need to explore your ankle strategies. Third round, you're now going to start rocking forward. And as the ankle strategy starts to fail, you're going to shift to the hip strategy. You're going to start using your hips to try to bring yourself back to standing. Now, obviously, at some point in the real world, that's not going to work. You have to step. You have to go down to the ground. So you have to have progressions for all of those things. And we're going to be dealing with all of that. But it all begins initially with finding out more about your own body and what you're currently capable of and what strategies you have mastered and which ones need work. All right. So this is just a little intro to the fall prevention and preparation course. I hope to see you there. Uh, and as I said, just like everything else in Z Health, we are incredibly excited to have finally the opportunity to share this with you.